Mattress Factory is a museum of contemporary installation art. And for 32 years we've been here on Pittsburgh's north side. Uh, we bring artists from all over the world to live in Pittsburgh for several weeks, create new site-specific works, uh, especially for the museum, so these are works that have never been shown anywhere else. Um, and we completely support them while they're here in town. Uh, in 2007, uh, we launched what's called what we call Friendship 2.0. We have a blog that is pretty active with a number of staffers here at the Mattress Factory, our, our bloggers, uh, myself included, but we also have our director, Barbara Lutarowski, um, our director of education, our shop coordinator. They all blog regularly. We have a Facebook page. We have um, a Twitter page, a Twitter stream. We have a YouTube, Flickr. So it's basically, well, we're, we're fairly present on many of the more prominent social platforms. And we have a confessional in our lobby where visitors can go in and record short videos about their Mattress Factory experience, directly upload them to a channel we've created on YouTube called MFI Confess. Um, and then also we have a text SMS bright kite wall where visitors can send messages and photos to a display screen in our lobby and interact with each other. Google Street View, we um, worked with a pair of artists to reshoot Samsonia Way, uh, which is the street we're located on, um, in Street View. So, and staging spectacles along the way. So if you now Google the Mattress Factory's address, you'll pull up um, a marching band. Uh, the staff of the Mattress Factory is on the fire escape throwing confetti. There is a huge stuffed chicken down the way. There is a marathon running. So um, it's basically the first ever artistic intervention into Google Street View. It's myg20.org. Basically what we wanted to do is create a site or a platform where average Pittsburghers could share what they love about the city with visitors of the G20. Because typically around events of this magnitude, there's a top-down information flow. And this is just a bottom-up way of kind of sharing the cool places to go, um, you know, what there is to do, how to get around the city when the perimeter is closed off. And so it's real-time, it's crowd-curated, um, and, and it aggregates several different um, social media streams. Um, it really personalizes the organization. Um, prior to launching our social media um, initiatives, the museum was very mysterious. It kind of was, um, uh, people didn't know much about what happened, what behind the scenes, and social media has really opened up that window to expose the artists when they're here working, the creative process that goes on. Uh, um, the, what it takes to actually get to the final step, final stage of an artwork here. I, th I think the key really is to experiment, is to not dip your toe in the water, but do a cannonball, you know? Um, just, it's, you gotta try it out, see what works. There's no, there's no template. Uh, I don't believe there's a template that you can apply to, from organization to organization. It's all about personality, it's all about people, um, and it's all about sharing. Um, so, you know, what works for the Mattress Factory may not work for the Warhol, or may not work for Bayer Corporation. You know, you all have to find your own voice, and I think that's something we're still um, exploring and working on. So, um, I don't really, I would say just jump in. Uh, if you go to mattress.org, uh, there's a link to our Friendship 2.0 page, which basically lists all of our social media platforms that we're involved with. Um, if someone really wants to help out, they can join our Twitter posse. Uh, we have a great, uh, a loyal uh, posse that um, really helps us out, and, and they got our back, we got their back, um, and it's one of those relationships that's uh, been really great for the museum. So if, um, we welcome anyone and everyone, uh, so I look forward to seeing you on the interwebs.